Hey guys, welcome to JPlays. I am Iceman. This is my playthrough of World of Zine. Uh, uniting the worlds. So, and this is most likely the final part in this, depending on how much time I pump into this. But there is not a lot left to do at this point. We just need to go to the Southern Sphinx on the cloud side of things to get the chime of opening and then use the chime of opening in the clouds above Darkstone Tower to unite the worlds. That's it. It should be just those two things. But this shouldn't take long in theory. In theory. Uh... Where to? So it all depends on just how long it takes me to get through this bit. Now I'm saying this, so maybe this is my, you know, famous last words or something. But it shouldn't take long. By the way, let's see how we go. You may enter, but be warned, none shall leave alive. Yeah, I've heard that before, and then I blitzed it. So let's see. I have been reading that this plan is actually challenging though. Lots of traps and things. My biggest issue... Oh, I might be able to afford it. Oh, I think I need a bit more money. Well, they're giving you stuff already. Always nice to find more gear. Oh, and cursed. Oh, dear. Well, we can get that fixed up later. Wow. One shot. So apparently there's a person you can pay in this place to um, make you immune to these. Eh, it might be something to think about.
Hey, is that thing? Okay, that's so that protects me against the swinging axes. From this point forward, I, w I shouldn't get uh, damage from the swinging axes. But hopefully that's all the money I have to spend, because that's it. Down to 241,000 from this point forward, so... Someone else wants another 2 million, they... Oh. We'll see, anyway. Ah, damn it. That kind of thing. See, I don't really need that. At this point, I'm not going to level up anymore. If that's all it is. I mean, if I get if if I get two million, I'll come back and pay for it. If it's going to protect me from all the traps, but for now, at least I don't see the point. Why did he die? He just randomly dropped dead. What the hell? Can you cure curses? Not looking like it. Not in this one, anyway.
He died again. Okay. In that case, alright, I'll finish looking here. Ah, bloody hell. Oh. Thank you. 
May we help you? Cool, saved him. At least I hope so. Alright, just gonna quickly gonna go through this here. Okay, be back in a few minutes. Alright, that's done. Just need to go and get the um, SP points back. Where to? And then we'll head back. You may enter, but be warned, none shall leave alive. So I've got immunity against one of them. Okay, not that one. Let's see, if that one's always going to drop chainmail... Let's see if it always does. Is that obsidian gauntlets? Well, that one would be useful.
Boots. Uh, does everyone need obsidian boots? Yeah, one person does, so. useful. May we help you? Sorry, just working out where the roller gear goes. Okay. I think that was it. I saw some accessories, but... No. Okay, sell these. Oh, actually. Thank you. 
Damn it. So what are you supposed to do if you only got like one or one of the one of the things covered? Can you teleport in this place, I wonder? It's gonna be a while until I can afford to get the next next one if I can at all. Side is because we're in clouds in this place you can use teleport quite well too. Just looking at a map of this place.
Oh, and you can't teleport either. Ah, oh, lovely. Jump works, though. Study the lessons to learn my name. I love that I can beat those now.
Okay, so, so far we've got the letter C. Hi. I just love that the game is throwing just levels at me now.
It's annoying. Sometimes you fight these guys and then you, they never hit once. Other times you fight them and then they don't miss. So, so it's different. Don't feed the dragons.
Hmm. See, problem I've got. I need to have immunity to immunity immunity to the, to these things, but then I don't have anywhere near enough money. I've only got like three hundred and seventy thousand, and I need like two mil million. So we're just gonna have to brave it. How did someone end up cursed? See, second you step there, he's cursed. See, cursed again. Let me think. So we got uh, C I D P A R. It's like a word jumble. You gotta like put them into like a proper word.
Oh, here we go again. So you've come to me for the chime of opening. What could you possibly offer me in exchange? I've been around for thousands of years and I've seen everything. Well, almost everything. There is one mysterious item that I haven't seen. It's called a widget. It's a hypothetical item whose existence has never been proven. Have you ever heard of it? Really? Do you have one? Would you like to trade it for the chime of opening? Then make it so. Make it so. And there we go. Chime of opening. So now we've got the chime of opening, we can go back to Darkstone Tower. And finish this thing.
Where to? Where to? So let's go finish this thing. Okay, to get to B3. this one. It is half tempting to go and kill that diamond golem though. I see you have the key to this tower. You may pass, mortals. Did I save? I can't remember if I saved. Yes, I did. Just that you do it on like autopilot by this point. King's bounty. Inherit the earth. New world competing. Huh?
In a dungeon I didn't I don't remember doing in this playthrough that I do remember doing in the other one was one where you actually walked through New World Computing's offices, but like done in this game engine. Must have been like an optional dun dungeon or something. Or some place, you know. Yeah, like some place I didn't go. making sure I save at every rest stop because you never know when the game's gonna say that you got tired or something like that and then all of a sudden the levitate spell runs out runs out and then you fall back down to earth again. I was expecting there'd be actually en enemies in this final section. Almost there. Light magic.
Prince Roland and um, Kalindra, I think. And with that, that is Might and Magic, uh, World of... World or Worlds of Zine, I think it's World of Zine, completed. So that completes both Might and Magic 4 and 5. It has been an absolute pleasure to play through this game again. God, it's um, interesting playing it nowadays in 2022, though. Some things, like, you look at it and you're like, oh my god, I miss that kind of stuff, like puzzles like that in games, they just don't do them like that anymore. Some of those I would have seen more in game books, if you know what game books are. Um, yeah, some very like old school style puzzle design. And a lot in this that you just wouldn't see in games nowadays. You know? Um, some things I'm happy that that's not there anymore. Um, like the amount of... In this game required a lot of spreadsheet style stuff on my end that I had to keep track of. Like, I had to actually keep track of like what were the weapon stats, armor stats, um, all things like that to make sure all my people all had the best gear. And in the newer, in, in all the games after this, they fixed that up. So that you would actually see the exact stats on any weapons and armor that you had. So, that, so that's better in the 3D entries. But I'll say... The music in this is beautiful, um, though so a lot of it you do hear a lot, over and over again. Um, the art style is fantastic. It's a real showcase of 2D, um, you know, sprite-based animation. You know? I would have said that that's, you don't see much of that nowadays, but no, that's not true. You know, 2D is still alive and well, thank God. You know? But it did die out for a little while, but it came back. And, you know, it's here to stay for at least the time being. And I'll always love games like this. Um, even though they're, they're, they are for the hardcore, this is not a game for casuals, this is only for the hardcore. Um, Alright, so yeah, but it's been really fun playing this, playing through this game, and I hope that you have enjoyed watching me play through the whole thing. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to play next. I will return to more games in this series at a later point, though. Because, um, I think it's Might Magic... Oh, which is the one where you get the castle? Um, I think it's Might Magic 7 for Blood and Honor, I think. 
or something and not anyway. I remember that one being really good. Like that's from the 3D entries. I will say that when I get onto the 3D entries, they do play a very differently to this one. Because in those ones, you have the choice of real-time and turn-based. But you are majorly disadvantaged if you play the game turn-based. Whereas you can cheat, if you'd even call it that, um, in real-time, but you can't in turn-based. You know? Because it's heavily built off um, ranged attacks in the later ones. Whereas this one, no, not really. Like, a little bit, yeah. But not based off it. In these ones, earlier ones, you know, it's all just tur total turn-based style. Very similar to Eye of the Beholder and other ones. Whereas the 3D ones, no. They're, they're their own beast entirely. And they're, and they're good in their own way. They're just different, that's all. I do prefer these ones, but those ones have their own advantages as well. Definitely have those, their own advantages. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to have a think about what I want to play next. I was thinking... Well, the funny thing is, when I went into playing this, I had picked it because I thought it, this would be something that would be quick to play. And my first video for this went up... Let me just have a look. So my first video went up on December 12th, 2022. And this one's going up on Christmas, as in December 20... Or Dece De December 25th. So, what's that? 13 days? Well, I guess that's not bad, really. But I have had the advantage of having a boatload of time available to me, so... You know? Whereas when I played through Cyberpunk... Um... Was it 2077? I didn't have that advantage for a lot of it. I was working at the same time. So I'd have to play it in bursts, whereas this one I could just sit there for a whole day and just play it. Hence why some of my videos for this are very long. Anyway, um, I'm thinking I will play some actual quick games next. Like, I, know, I mean, like, we finish the whole game in, in an hour kind of thing. Like, uh, Golden Axe and um, Double Dragon. I haven't covered those on this channel yet. So those would be ones I wouldn't mind playing. Before I tackle another really long game again. You know, I say long, but this wasn't really that long. Compared to Cyberpunk, this was nothing. Yeah, well, they don't make them like this anymore. They don't make them like great, excellent games like World of Zine, um, Eye of the Beholder, or ones like that. They just don't make them like that anymore. And then, and so I hope games like this are treasured till the end of time. They'll always hold a special place with me. Anyway. I am going to sign out here, guys. Let's just see if anything else happens when I... That's it. Alright, so guys, have a good one, and I'll see you in whatever I play next.